Oh, okay. Okay, go, 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 everybody, everybody, go, go. There's a cop here. There's a cop. There's a cop. There's a cop. There's a cop. Stockton and intruder gets onto a high school campus and stabs and kills a 15 year old student. Parents are now demanding answers on how something like this could happen. The trespasser had to go through this gate, which we're learning it was opened and unguarded beforehand. Tonight, parents and students say they're just shaken. Parents spent the day frantically searching for their kids, but the school would not release them. Babe, when are you, when are you coming out? As they waited desperately for updates, some families raised concerns about allegations of frequent acts of violence. Where's the security? That's my biggest thing. But now students and parents are concerned. Stockton schools are easy targets. One student we spoke to, shaken by the stabbing and did not want to be on camera, tells us gates are frequently left open with little security as visitors enter. Very rarely any times that there's any CSM or officers there in the front at all. Very rare. I don't want to lose any more people like that. We shouldn't have, but it shouldn't have happened today. Family, friends, and teammates gathered just steps away from the crime scene Monday night to remember Alicia, shocked her life was taken too soon. Tony McNeil is with Faith in the Valley, one of several community-based organizations providing support in times of crisis. This is a bigger problem than just criminalization, um, that there is a structural issue at place here. Um, and when you see a lot of violence that is erupting within the community, that means that there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of triggers. Anthony Gray did not enter a plea and the judge denied bail. It was reaffirmed that Gray and Reynaga did not know each other and that Gray was not homeless. He was a warehouse worker. It was also revealed in court that Gray served time in jail for previous offenses in Santa Clara and Napa counties. If convicted of the first degree murder charge, Gray faces a sentence of 25 years to life in prison.